one of my girlfriends says, I do be struggling today. I do be struggling. Need to eat my kind bar before I go because I'm 75 million weeks pregnant and hungry all the time. All right, so I am 35 weeks pregnant today. Definitely still trying to keep up with my chiropractor appointments. I have been going every week since. So I went twice a week for the first two weeks just to get everything aligned starting at, I believe it was 24. So now I'm 35, I've been going for 11 weeks. Y'all, it is like, it's getting hard to breathe these days. Um, I think I talked about that a little bit last night. I am just lactating, like it is my job, literally. Overall, I just am like really starting to get to the uncomfortable part of pregnancy. Um, and his movements are so different, like drastically different week by week. Um, they're a lot more like fluid and they're stronger because he has more like push and power behind him. But at the same time, they're softer because he doesn't have the power to like swing like he used to. Um, but I am so, so ready. So I go this coming Thursday for my group beta strep test and my mom had didn't have it with me but she tested positive for it for my brother um i don't know you know if it's genetic i don't quite know i know the percentage of it they say like it's really small the amount of women who actually test positive for it um i, I don't know but i go for that this week and i'm hoping that because i'll be 36 weeks they're already gonna have me with my pants off. I'm like, can you just check me and tell me some good news? And like, hopefully tell me that there is some dilation or effacement going on in there because I have actually been following a lot of girls who have now had their babies and they went in at 36, got checked and had already started dilating. So I'm kind of hoping that that starts to happen, but I won't be disappointed if one, they don't check me or two, I'm not dilated or any of that yet because I know we still have some time but I'm just like so ready. I told Sam, like we are five weeks or less till this baby comes out and I don't think, I told him today, I said it actually really frustrates me the way people genuinely will be like, oh, I think you're gonna go past your due date or I asked you guys just like when you thought the baby was gonna come. She was like, I think 40 plus four because a lot of new moms go over or whatever. And I was like, do they just not believe me when I say that I'm not going past 40 weeks? Like, I don't think people quite understand me as a person when I say I'm gonna do something I'm gonna do it and I know my doctor if I look at her 39 week appointment and say hey there's nothing happening no changes this baby has not shown that he is trying to come uh, schedule me for an induction at 40 because he's so big that at him at 40 weeks we're already gonna be like 41 42 in size and I just like that stresses me out um, not just in size but just in like him being okay in there and so no I just I five weeks or less from today my son will be on this earth which makes me so excited so not really much is happening I'm just hoping and like praying that I officially get the all clear that we are on baby watch this coming week because of just how ahead he is in size and but we'll see. They may not, they may not check me. I don't know. So headed to the chiropractor now. I was going to go to Target, but I'm looking at the time and it's just not looking like if I go to Target, I will get stuck in five o'clock traffic and I don't want to go to Target that bad. So it may or may not happen. We'll see. So I'm hoping I can actually get this vlog up tonight. I just have to remember. That's going to be my thing is remembering to edit it when I get home. Um, so we are on our way now to Costco. We are going to get all the stuff that we'll use after we have the baby. Look at that McDonald's line. Good Lord. Um, this kid is like, whew. So we're gonna get some freezer meals. We're gonna get, go ahead and get my dates because they have really good, like you can get organic, um, a big tub of like the organic dates at Costco. What else do we have to get there? Tupperware containers because someone got mad and threw away all of our glass ones. Yes, I don't like eating glass. <laughs> so, some of our glass ones broke. Then, well, uh, listen, literally nine out of ten of them litter uh, had I mean, chipped or had glass shards in them. You can wash the glass shards out. I mean, I get what you're saying, but anyway. So we got glass ones in 2021 and got rid of all of our plastic. They broke like what within eight months. 
the first set broke almost uh, immediately. Started so like quick. Two to three months and it was super frustrating because it's around the edge. Well, so you we would have. What? You're blocking the mirror. Oh. There. So we would have to. Um, we would have to uh, like get rid of them and then replace them and then get rid of them and then replace them. And so I'm just, I've looked into, there's a couple brands that have BPA free ones, but of course we are still going to not wash them in the dishwasher just to hopefully not let anything leach just in case, even though they claim to be BPA, BPA free, usually it's like BPA free up to a certain point. So moral of the story, glass, storage containers they have not worked for us they have not worked for and y'all we are careful on ours like it's not like we slam them around it's not like we do anything weird with them they are totally not and they would just like completely shatter or the maybe, side would chip maybe or you didn't have to stack them we stack them in our thing oh, and maybe, maybe that's what they keep but it, it doesn't we don't have make room. sense no and we, we don't, don't have room to store them individually placed with a lid on them yeah I mean, who has room for that? They're made to stack, so it seems like it's kind of redundant. Yeah, it stacking, brags about stacking. Stacking the lips or what, like the lip of the top one mm -hmm. on the underside would chip, and then the glass shards would get in all the other stuff. Yeah, it's a nightmare, so we gotta get some of those, because we have none. Sam literally didn't even save the ones that aren't chipped at all. He didn't save them. And so we were, I made spaghetti the other night for dinner, and he had to put it in a glass bowl, um, and then put, up like saran wrap over it and i was like honey next time before you get mad and just throw everything away maybe leave us one just one <laughs> um so costco and then him and i are gonna go because we're meeting my parents over at costco and then we're gonna go to walmart and then hopefully get home today and install the car seat in sam's car busy day bpa free guess where these bitches are going cop rack <laughs> <dishwasher. laughs> Toss that box. He's so sassy. Okay, so we got. But I do need one of these because I want to cut. We the got. Look, let me show you. Plastic containers. They're BPA free. Apparently, they didn't want to use these. So he just threw. God, I am like out of breath today. Um, I don't think this baby's coming up at 40 weeks. I really don't. So got some stuff for nurses' baskets, and I want to share that with you. Um, I will probably share either assembling them on here or a TikTok reel combination of the two, whatever. But I want to show you what I got for the nurses. So what we're going to do, I've got a couple questions already of people who said, are you doing it for labor and delivery? Are you doing it for mama baby? Or are you doing it for both? I'm doing it for both. And then I'm doing, um, hold on, let me put you guys down on this box. And then, oh gosh. So I'm doing it for both, and then we're, I'm watching Parks and Rec. Um, so I'm doing it for both, and then I'm going to do an AM shift and a PM shift. So it is four baskets. That is a lot, but what we're gonna do, and actually what she told us the other day when she was recommending, which is funny, because I kind of was gonna do it anyway. So Sam and I are only packing one bag for the two of us, um, like one suitcase. And it's actually a very large suitcase, but of the suitcase, my blanket that I am taking by myself takes up 40%, 60%. Like it's huge, the blanket that I'm taking to the hospital. So I needed it because I don't want to have Sam carrying in a bunch of stuff, a bunch of different bags. We are taking one large suitcase. And what we're going to do is in the front part, you know, when you open up a suitcase, you have the main compartment and then you have the part that's under like that zipper. The main compartment is going to be all of our labor stuff. And then the, uh, what's under the zipper is going to be recovery style stuff so like shower stuff will be there um my clothes will be there sam's clothes will be there and then everything labor wise will be in the front so that if i need something we literally just open the suitcase once all of the labor stuff that we're taking is right there and then that's that which is the blanket so we're actually going to excuse me give my mom the baskets all of the nurses baskets all four of them when she comes she's gonna bring the a.m p.m labor and delivery baskets inside i'll tell i'll give it to them um i pick up so just tell them you know this is for a.m this is for p.m i'll label them really cute so that they know and then we're gonna go ahead and pass those off and then whenever i give birth and then i get moved i think they said it's about two to three hours after you give birth they move you to mother baby um i'll have my mom go get the other two baskets out of the car and then she can bring those in and then 
that will be when we give the, the mom a baby because, I mean, equally so, the nurses that care for you in postpartum are just as important as the nurses who care for you while you're giving birth. So. Who do you think you are, Kat? <laughs> She's like mean mugging me. As I'm looking at her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's like twisting her head upside down to stare at me as she's staring at Jada. Do you guys see what this says? <laughs> These animals, they are, they do have an attitude today. All of them. I know, she's, she always has an attitude. Okay. So I actually ordered some baskets. Um, these are just what I had just like left over in the nursery. So I threw all the stuff in here, but they're not going to go in these. They're going to go in some cuter baskets. So verb energy bars, and I'm going to put the same thing in every single one of them. Verb energy bars, these are the bars that are, it's, um, as much caffeine as an espresso. So this is the cinnamon roll one. I can't have obviously espresso pregnant. So, I mean, it's only 65 milligrams, but that's like one tiny little bar. I'm not trying to waste caffeine on a tiny bar. I need my coffee. I got this huge bag. This was literally the smallest bag that Costco had of candy. It's 150 pieces of, we'll see, it's got Snickers, Reese's, 100 grand, Milky Way, M&M, Kit Kat, Almond Joy, Twix, York, and M&M's. So I'm going to put some of those in there. Lip balm. Eos. They had a huge pack. So I'm going to put two in each. Um, oh, wait. There's three of this one. I'm going to put at least two in each basket. Pins. My mother was a nurse and said, I'm so sorry. My husband's being loud, but I also was told I'm not allowed to do anything or help him. I need to rest, as he's told me 75 times. So... That's why I'm sitting over here and he's emptying the dishwasher, being loud. Pins. So this is a 40 pack. Got them from Costco for like eight bucks. And so I'm gonna put like 10 pens in each one. I got some of the, and if I don't use all these, which I don't think I will, I'll just put them in like my little snack thing. I'm gonna put snacks on my cart that I have for the, after the baby. These, fruit snacks. And then I also got, so I am gonna do this. I know that obviously everyone can benefit from energy drinks, but I do think it will be better. You guys are also sitting on, I have many kind bars. You guys are sitting on that box. Those are potentially gonna go in there, but I got these. So I'm gonna put, these are the energy drinks. So I'm gonna put these in the PM, both of them. So PM for mama baby, PM for um, labor and delivery. <laughs> Because them night shift. My mommy used to work night shift. We have friends who work night shift. Different breed of human being. Y'all are killing it. And then I'm going to put Gatorades in the um, day ones. So I think that's pretty much everything. They'll fill up relatively quickly. There was something else I thought I got. I thought I got something bigger. I don't know. And I'm also going to put thank you notes in there. So I'm going to put thank you notes from Sam, me, and then the baby. Um, just because... I've said this 150 times over on my channel, like nurses and teachers are the most underpaid, overworked, incredible human beings. They're like angels sent from heaven above. Like I just, I, the, the patience that you have to have to do that and the love that you have to have to do that is unreal. Like I've heard all the horror stories. Like a, a woman kicked my mom in the neck one time and she didn't mean to, but she was like in labor and just spazzed out and kicked my mom in the throat. Mom said that was her last day. She said she put in her paperwork the next day to go to NICU. She was like, I couldn't. After I got, I think it was like a bad week. And then when she got kicked in the throat, she was like, deuces. So yeah, small thing that we can do for nurses to say thank you. We're going to do it. So I really think that's it for this one. Um, I would like to go help my husband organize some of this stuff, but I've been kind of, been kind of shunned from the kitchen because I was told I was doing too much. Um, and at some point today, we're going to pack our hospital bag. Probably not going to get the vlog back in this one. Probably be up in the next vlog. And then we were going to do car seats today. I think those are going to get pushed to tomorrow because it is freezing cold and so, so windy outside. Like, you can get blown away like Wizard of Oz style outside right now. So, um, I think that's going to get pushed to tomorrow. But thank you all for watching. Not really much happening here. This is kind of what's happening in our house lately. A lot of... A lot of cleaning and me being told I'm doing too much. Pretty much it. <laughs>